Hi everybody, Levi Clay here and I am back again with a very simple question. Can you tell the difference between a sharp pick and a round pick? This should be a lot of fun. So these picks of course were provided by VPix who have sponsored my channel for a while now. Big fan of Vinny and all of the work he does. I've been using his picks for like nine years now. So you know if you are looking for the right pick for you, head on over to VPix. I think they have over a hundred different models now. So you may find something a little different, something that appeals to you. I always say you know we're, we're all different players so why don't we all play the exact same picks? Go out and find the one that's right for you. Anyway so to begin with, what I am going to be using is a VPix Freakishly Large, uh, rounded, which I believe is the pick that Carlos Santana uses, and I'm going to be using a VPix Freakishly Large pointed. Now those two picks have different ends to them, different edges. I'll try and hold them both up. One has a round edge, and one has a pointy edge, a sharper edge. I want to see if you can tell the difference between those two things. I have a prediction, I have a preconceived notion as to how each one is going to sound, I have a thought on the feel of them, etc, but I'm really interested to see if you can tell the difference in a blind test. So I'm going to go away now, and you won't be able to see which pick I'm using, but listen very carefully and see if you can tell the difference in tone. <laughs>
Okay, so a few samples there, and yeah, to me, I feel that I could hear a difference between the two of them, but the question is, could you? To my ears, the uh, the sharper pick had more of a high-end, you know, crisp attack to the note, whereas the transient on the rounder pick was softer, smoother, a lot more low-end response. Uh, you know, both of them are totally valid sounds, and I prefer different picks for, for different jobs. If I'm playing more of a jazzy blues type thing, I'm going to use a rounder pick, whereas if I'm playing country guitar, I'm a lot more likely to use a sharp pick. So just to finish things up, I'm going to sample four picks now. I am going to use the same two picks that I used before, which was the uh, freakishly large rounded and the freakishly large pointed. But now I'm also going to add in some more extreme examples. I'm going to use a switchblade, which has a very sharp point, and I'm going to use a gypsy, which has an extremely rounded point because the pick is totally round. So uh, yeah, for all you Brian May fans out there, maybe you'll be able to tell this tone. So now there's going to be four samples, I will come back and uh, let you know which one was which. So here we go. <laughs> So there we have it guys, four different picks. The question is, could you tell the difference in tone? Now finally, I should really point out the thing that matters here. Tone, of course, is extremely important when playing guitar. And everything that we choose to play should be dictated kind of by the sound that we're looking to achieve. Having said that, there is the additional uh, factor of feel. Feel is extremely important too. Now, if you like the sound of a rounded pick, but you're a shredder, if you're someone that likes to pick a lot of notes, playing with a rounded pick is a lot, lot harder because you don't have such a sharp uh, point with which you can control your articulation. Detail with a, a rounder pick is a lot harder to achieve because, well, essentially, when I use this rounded pick, it's not so much striking the string, really plucking it, as it is brushing over the string. Whereas when I use something extremely sharp, like a stiletto, you can really see that sharp point, which is actually plucking the note. So some of this will come down to what your tonal requirements are, but other aspects, or the, not the more important aspect, but something that needs to be considered, is how picks feel. So from, from my personal perspective, what I really go for is as round a pick as I can achieve without losing that feel of uh, control. So to me, something like the Switchblade is a little bit too sharp. Now when you look at VPIC's pick collection, you've got lots of picks like that, like the the Venom or the Black Hole, these all have extremely sharp points and lots of players absolutely love those, but tone-wise to me, they have a little bit 
you know, uh, top end, a little bit too much top end to them. So I prefer something a little bit rounded. So for the longest time, I have played the medium pointed or the small pointed because although it does have a point, the point is nowhere near as sharp. And I find the same when I'm using a pick like a Pacelli or uh, the new uh, EKG pick. I've been using that a fair amount recently, or even just the tradition. It still comes to a point, but not quite as round as you know, say a gypsy does, for example. Anyway, guys, um, I'd be really interested to know your thoughts, so please do drop them in the comments section below. And finally, I just want to say a huge thank you to these people over here. These are some of my supporters over on patreon.com. Uh, they help to bring you videos like this. So thank you very much, guys. You are doing a good service for the people. Uh, but more importantly, you know, that's not all they get. They get lots of other cool things like access to my private patron-only Facebook group, private study club streams, private lessons, you know, there's lots of stuff. So yeah, hope you guys are all very happy. And if you would like to join me over on Patreon, you can check us out by clicking this button up here. You can subscribe by clicking this button down here and you'll see two more of my videos, one here and one here. And like I say, guys, any questions, any comments, let me know in that comment section below and I will see you for another video again soon. Laters.